Well, I never thought I would see the day where I would be making a video where I'm saying I was wrong about trap tricks. I also didn't think I would be moving 25 cases of beer for a charity that I'm helping my mama with. Yeah, I had to do that at seven o'clock this morning. I'm a very tired boy. Let's get into it. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most Avery LR32 here and destroy the ever living beer case boo boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1100 ladder. You're going to have to excuse me being so freaking tired. It is currently almost 10 30 at night on this beautiful March 1st day that has been a beautiful day. I moved 25 cases of beer into my car and another car for this charity event that I'm helping with. It's a long story, but I'm very tired and I had to do that at seven o'clock this morning. I'm exhausted and I'm also not a morning person. And I also realized that our boy Pack went five wins and three losses just using three trap trick structure decks just mashed together. And you know what? I was wrong about trap tricks. Now, I'm sure some people are going to be like, well, Avery, you just, you didn't know what the deck did and blah, 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 blah. But you know what? When you look at the structure deck face value, other than the reprints like Evenly Match and other things like that, Ash Blossom as well, you know, looking at it from that perspective, I was thinking to myself, like, there's no value in this structure deck outside of like Evenly Match. There wasn't really anything else that I thought that was really going for the structure deck that made it any good, but the community has proven me wrong. And, you know, it was funny because before I made this video, you know, I had seen that Trap Tricks was doing some things and people were telling me that the deck was really good. And then I see Pac go five and three with it at a regional, which again, all he did was take three structure decks and just mash them together. Like five and three is not the best record, obviously, but still he was beating meta decks and he went five and three, which is honestly incredible just to be able to buy three structure decks off of a table and slap the decks together and there you go you're done on top of that too you know you have to understand that from my perspective and from what people in like my comment section when i made the don't buy the trap trick structure deck video people were telling me like well avery the deck can make anywhere from six to eight disruptions in a turn yeah i can also <laughs> lock out all five of your fucking zones with cash tira if i open up like a four card combo with extenders but how often and consistently are you doing that sure you can make six to eight disruptions boo boo but how often are you able to put out those six to eight disruptions to win you the game do you have to go first can you do it going first or second if i'm playing cash tira and i want to lock out all five of your zones realistically speaking, I can do it on going first or second. It just depends on what your board state is. So to me, you know, from the outside looking in, going into this structure deck, I thought that this, this is going to be booty booty butt cheeks. It's going to be a horrible structure deck. It's going to be good for the reprints, but all the trap trick stuff is just going to get sold off in bulk. And I was wrong. Now, would I consider this deck to be anything higher than tier two? Fuck no, absolutely not. The deck is definitely, however, very much a rogue deck. And if you're someone like me, who I'll admit, I was ignorant to the deck. I thought it was just a hot garbage deck. I was ignorant to it. And because I didn't know what the shit did, I lost to it at locals play testing this past Saturday. And you know what? Not only did I brick game one, but I mean, I was ignorant to it. And you know what? I paid for it. So I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm actually going to probably play test the deck either a little bit tonight, maybe tomorrow. Um, on the, the second when you see this video, because, you know, I'm probably not going to upload this tonight. Probably will. Who knows? I'm tired of shit. But hopefully now people won't be busting my chops because I said that Trap Tricks was a bad deck. At the same time, you know, you have to keep in mind, like, what the meta is that we're in right now. You know, we're in a meta where Cash Tira is debatably the best deck of the format. Sword Soul is very solid. Being able to end on a Blackout Chinging and a Baron. I mean, I talked about all this in my top five decks of the format. But the point that I'm making is that you would think that a deck like Trap Tricks playing a card like Bottomless Fucking Trap Hole in 2023 is going to be any good. But no, it's actually very good. And it's because of all of the different hole 
normal traps, try saying that 10 times fast, that the deck can play. It makes it very adaptable in that regard. You know, you, you would think that a deck like Trap Tricks even wouldn't be playing bottomless trap pull in 2023, but they are because it's good and they can get to it first turn. They can search the damn thing. You know, they've got Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare, Grave Digger's Trap Hole to do effect damage if you're in time. Bottomless because it's just good removal. And a lot of these Trap Hole cards, I think actually all of them aren't once per turn. So like, you can set three bottomless and have three monster pops ready to go in the back row. You know, the reason why cards like bottomless and all that stopped seeing play as time went by in Yu-Gi-Oh! was just because of the fact that the game got too fast and just having one monster pop in your back row wasn't really going to do you anything, especially like, you know, if the monster that they summon with 1500 or more attack can't be popped by card effects anyway. So it didn't even fucking matter. But now that you have something like trap tricks, especially with the new support where it's much more easily searchable because of the new support, that it makes it worth it to play because it ends up becoming a piece of interruption to stop the opponent from playing the game, especially when in a deck like Trap Tricks, you want to have the interruption. You know, that's why Hand Artifact Trap Trick, aka Hat, was such a good deck. And so to me, I'm thinking like, this isn't Hat in 2014. They're not going to be playing Fire and Ice Hand and all that shit. And they're not, but yet they're playing all of these other cards that now in 2023 make the deck a very good rank four toolbox slash link slash control deck with, with traps and all that other stuff. It makes it really good. And honestly, I'm impressed because it's another deck that people at the end of the sugar-coated rainbow have to play. You know, instead of people like bitching and complaining, saying, oh, this format's toxic, locking out all the zones and blah, 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 which... Even then, that's not a very big deal when the cast hero board can be so easily fucking broken. Like, you just fart on it, and the board just gets blown away into next week. <laughs> and so, now people have a new budget deck to play with. Whether it's you're just buying three structure decks, and you're going to do a, you know, pack special, and just play three structure decks and try and get your invite. Or you're going to spend a little bit of money on the Trap Tricks deck, and play a rogue deck that can keep up with meta decks on, I wouldn't say the rare occasion, but a fair amount of time. And the more decks that the community has access to, the more diverse that we're going to see this meta, and the more choices that the player base has, the better. Because I doubt people want to go back to tier 0, tier element format. I would rather deal with my zones getting locked out just because of pure fucking luck, and that I didn't draw the out, than having to deal with tier element where even if you break their fucking board, they can just rebuild it on your turn just... <laughs> like, it, it's so dog water. It's so toxic. And so... If, if that's what it requires is me being wrong about Trap Tricks to see it thrive, then I'll take the L, Chief. I am more than happy being the mature uh, 5 o'clock shadow bearded man that I am <laughs> to take the L and see a deck thrive that I personally thought it wouldn't do all that well. And I'm willing to admit to a fault when I'm wrong. And you know what? I was wrong about Trap Tricks. I'm happy to see that the deck is doing well. It's a very respectable deck. Now, I'm sure people are still going to get mad at me because I'm not saying that the deck is Tier 1 or even Tier 2, which I'm just not going to say that. I'm I'm not putting it above Rogue. It's very much a Rogue deck. You get your 6-8 to eight disruptions, boo-boo, good for you. I don't feel that the deck can really pull that off consistently, but you know what? I thought the deck was hot garbage, so maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but... I'm willing to admit to a fault when I'm wrong, and I know I'm re kind of repeating myself here, but it's just the fact that, I mean, honestly, like, I'm just really impressed with what the deck has been able to do in, you know, topping regionals and other events and things like that, that there's really not much else to say other than if you want to get your structure decks and you want to be able to actually compete against the meta outside of, like, locals, like, even a regional uh, yeah, you can actually buy three structure decks and do what people with Silent Man Great were doing, where you just buy three structure decks and you're off to the races. So, guys, let me know what you think about this. I mean, I, I, I hope that Konami keeps on making structure decks that out of the box you at least have a good chance with, whether it's at locals, preferably a regional, what have you, um, because I'm, I'm impressed. And I was totally wrong, and I'm willing to admit to that, because, uh, you know, we're a man on the internet, and... Uh, <clears throat> We're just, we're just going to keep on uh, moving along on this gravy train and uh, maybe not be so quick to say that something's garbage. I'm still going to make videos on why you shouldn't buy a certain product, though, because it's fun. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.